Hey there, internet friends, it's Uncle Gary here. I'm going to show you how easy it is to mark out a raptor using a framing square. Now for this example, what I've done is I've wrote down here what we want. We want a 612 pitch. We're going to four foot in the center with a 10 inch overhang. Now what's a four foot in the center mean? Well, the shed we're building is eight foot wide. The peak is in the center of the building. So I got a four foot run to get to the center. 612 pitch, 10 inch overhang, four foot. Perfect, got all the information we need. So let's have some fun right after watching the skunk. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how easy it is to use a framing square to mark out a rafter. This is the example we're going to use today. We've got a 612 pitch. The building we're using is eight foot wide, so it's four, and we're doing a center peak, so it's four foot to the center. And we want a 10 inch overhang. So let's have some fun marking this out. And I'll show you how easy it really is. I always work with the outside of the framing square. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put six inches on top there, 12 inches there, just like so. Because what we want is a 612 pitch. So we got six and we got 12. We mark it. That's the peak or the ridge cut. Hey, but Gary, how are we gonna figure out how long it is? No problem. That's where this comes in again. You put the 12 inch there, you put the six inch there, you mark it. That's one foot. We're going to do it again. You mark it. That's two feet. We're going to do it again. We'll mark it. That is three feet. Here we go, we said it was four foot long to the center. That mark right there is the outside of the wall. That is. Well, wonderful, I want a bird's mouth. No problem. Let's say we got a four inch wall. There we go. Four inches. Run the square off that. Over. You cut that out. That's your bird's mouth. Well, great. Now we've got all that measured out. See how easy it was? But you didn't do the 10 inch overhang. I understand. So, remember, always work with the outside of the square. You run it this way. That's gonna make it 10 inches from the wall. We mark it there, flip it over again. We put the six inch there. We put the 12 inch there. Boom, boom, boom. There is the tail cut. See how easy that was? But you want me to do it again? No problem. Let me show you again. Outside of the square. That's the top cut. Now we measure how long. One. Two. Three. Four. Bird's mouth. Got me all collaborated there. We'll go up like this. Go 
down. Got myself confused a little bit. Example number two, we're going to go through it all over again. A little different example this time. I know you don't always have 612 pitch. This one here, we're doing a 412 pitch, eight foot to the center of the building, and a 14 inch overhand. 412, okay. Always work, remember, outside of the square. Four twelve. Now we gotta go eight foot to the center. One. Two. Three. Seven. Outside of the building. Bird's mouth. inch overhang. Remember, always work with the outside of the square. I'll go over it one more time for a top cut. There's a 412 top cut. a 512 top cut. There's a 612 top cut. A 712 top cut. A 812 top cut. told you. Simple, simple, simple. Okay, if you like what you've seen on this video, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And oh, by the way, if your square isn't nice and pretty with all those numbers, you got an old rusty one like this, what you do is you put a piece of tape on it, you measure your mark to 12 inches, you measure your pitch side, and then you do the same exact method. Okay, everyone, have fun marking them wrappers.
<laughs> there it is. Hey there, internet friends. Uncle Gary here. Internet friends. 